We are here in uh, Miami at Surf Club, which the general manager today called a global destination. And it's this just really powerfully designed, interesting property. And one of the focal points of it is the champagne bar, which is just, it feels like you've stepped back in time. You're totally transported. The problem is this thing is massive and the natural light is terrible. So it's not something you can just walk in and shoot, yet to really show the grandeur and to really feel like a global destination, you can't shoot just tights and mediums, right? You need wides. So knowing the size of the film we're making, that we're here for four seasons, it's one of the pinnacle, you know, properties and restaurants, we really wanted to go big. Keep it up. What's yeah. fascinating is how challenging <laughs> these large environments are and how you really have to start taking them apart layer by layer and looking at like the back wall and you know, what do we want to shape that with? And you start, you know, noticing all of your layers needing not only their own light, but being super intentional about where it's coming from and how does it all balance so that when you look at the final frame, it feels very consistent and cohesive, but also matches the, the strength and the power of your experience when you walk into this place. Like it just is so powerful. So we want that lighting to also feel that magical and that power, which is where, you know, haze comes in to give you atmosphere, to give you that depth. Right, let's see. So we're on final looks right now. We got haze going in the corner. Uh, and let me give you just a quick look in here. One of the areas that we found most challenging was this. You see this tremendously large mirror that reflects back the roof and the incredible, that is hand painted original from the 1930s ceiling. And we wanted to make sure that we brought in the space that you got a real feel for what all of that was. But as you may imagine, that was completely dark. So look at all the lights that we have going on in the background that's lifting that, that's bringing up image and detail in that. that awe, that wow, which you know, Four Seasons as a brand is known for, creating those experiences that make your jaw drop. And this was a, a chance for us to try and create that through our visuals. Um, but then also the history, right? It was opened in the 1930s and it still has that same vibe and feel. Sinatra used to play and hang out at this bar. So, you know, we're also thinking through our lighting and then more so our color grading, how we're playing with the blacks and the different levels to tone it in a way that makes it feel like it could be a vintage photograph as opposed to, you know, photographed right now. I mean, I think your, your, your challenge always in, in film productions is trying to ground people in, in a why. Why is this different? Why is this special? Why does this matter? Because it can be hard going from shoot to shoot to scene to scene to scene to production to production and remembering what the heck it is you're even shooting. And so it's trying to go back to not only why are we doing this, but then what's our opportunity? As humans, when we see a ladder, we must climb it, <laughs> right? It's the idea that we, we want to overcome, we want to go bigger, we don't want to be average. And so it's making sure that you're giving people a vision of, you know, this isn't just another thing we can do. This we hope, and we did hope, would be the best thing we'd ever shot for four seasons. And it's so always looking for what is that opportunity and how can we make sure that people realize how their role relates to the opportunity and how if we come together, we can create something really special.